All right, let's talk about the Los Angeles Chargers, obviously coming off an impressive week one victory in terms of the way they physically handled the Las Vegas Raiders, heading into an opportunity week two to improve to 2-0. and But what we've seen on Sunday, I think, is an indication that even though there's a lot of energy behind the Chargers, there was a smart move, a great decision the Chargers made that's underpinning this momentum. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, obviously, Chargers fans, you feel excited, 1-0 in the Harbaugh era, heading into a winnable Week 2 matchup. Great performance, I think, physically against the Las Vegas Raiders Week 1. A lot of things to clean up, but you won where it counts at the line of scrimmage in the trenches. And that goes back to what happened earlier this year in the offseason, right? Now that we're in the thick of football season, all eyes are focused on, obviously, the product on Sundays. But you only get to that product on Sundays with the moves you make in the offseason. And let's rewind the tape a little bit back to April. A lot of people wanted the Chargers select now Raiders tight end Brock Bowers. The Chargers instead selected offensive tackle Joe Alt. Based on what we've seen so far, it looks like the Chargers, smart guys, they made the right move. Let's pull up this report here, courtesy of SI.com. Los Angeles Chargers rookie Joe Alt's first challenge in his regular season debut was to hold off three-time Pro Bowler Max Crosby. Facing the Las Vegas Raiders defensive end is a challenge for any seasoned offensive lineman in the NFL, but it is considerably more difficult for a rookie. Despite the high level of competition, Alt got the job done in Sunday season opener. He allowed zero Zero quarterback pressures across 11 one-on-one matchups with Crosby, according to NFL Pro. Crosby hasn't held to zero pressures in a matchup against an offensive lineman since week nine of 2022, according to the site. Look, obviously, Brock Bowers looks like a good player. He did well for the Raiders, I think, against the Chargers. But it's clear that Harbaugh, Ortiz, they made the smart move here, selecting Joe Alt. Looks like he's going to be a great player for them going forward. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. But first, Chargers fans, in the comments section below, obviously, celebrating week one. But all eyes are starting to shift to week two. Very winnable game against the Carolina Panthers. I think a great chance to move to 2-0. Give us your prediction for the Chargers-Panthers matchup. Really curious what you guys have to say. Final score, Chargers-Panthers. Put it in the comment section below. But Miles, what are your thoughts on this latest Chargers news? Yeah, Nick, I think this is incredible news for the Chargers, and especially when you break down some more of the numbers and really look at what Alt was able to do, and you look, dive into the backstory, just everything involved in it. It was really impressive, and I think he did a really, really good job. Obviously, we know not allowing any pressures against Max Crosby, it's very impressive. That's something that anyone can hang their hat on. But that's not all he did. He also didn't allow any pressures against Christian Wilkins, another top-tier defender as well. So 19 pass block uh, reps against those guys. Zero pressures allowed, as you alluded to, between Crosby and Wilkins. And we all have to remember, this is a guy in Joe Alt coming out of college. Left tackle, stalwart all throughout college. Coming to the NFL game, new offense, and having to flip to the right tackle position, learning that on the fly, you'd expect this guy to come out, maybe struggle a little bit. You see the flashes. You see that he's a really good player. But for him to go up against one of the dominant defensive players in all of the NFL and absolutely blank him, goose egg him, just kind of really throw him to the wolves. And like Crosby is the guy that is on display here. Like, hey, man, what's going on? This is a rookie you're going against. How is, how is that possible? I think that's really, really impressive. And Crosby, who by all effects had a decent game, he graded out like a 76 overall per PFF. Not necessarily his highest rated game of all time, but that's not a bad game by Crosby. So he was playing well, just not when he was going up against Joe Alt. I think Alt had just an incredible performance and for everything that Alt had to do, come in, new system, all of this pressure being such a high draft pick, having to switch from left tackle over to right tackle, then first game of the season go up against some of the best defenders in the NFL. I think that the Chargers hit this one out of the park. I think Joel is going to be phenomenal. And you look at some of the early reports, people say they wanted Brock Bowers over Alt because they wanted a fixture in the offense to help them grow for the future. Well, you got it here in Joel. And I think probably a better fixture for the future than Bowers would have been. 
you know, one of the things that we've heard from the Chargers going forward, or I, I should say coming into the season that a lot of people were hoping is, can we give Justin Herbert the weapons he needs to be successful? You know, the Quinton Johnson bust, every, everyone's kind of worried about that. Obviously, Ladd McConkey off to a solid start. But everyone's like, Justin Herbert's such a superstar talent. We all know he is. He's a leader. He checks every single box. What can we give him? What can we give him to protect him? What weapons can we surround him with to be successful? And I think that's what everyone's thought was with the idea of selecting Brock Bowers. But I think what Harbaugh and Ortiz proved is, listen, we can protect Justin Herbert. We can give him the tools to be successful when we can win games when he throws 140 yards and we get to run the ball with J.K. Dobbins and dice up a team in the fourth quarter and wear them down. Be a physical football team, not a finesse football team, right? Everyone has always thought of the Chargers because of what Justin Herbert brings to the table as, well, they're they're sort of finesse-like, right? They want to throw the ball over the place. They want to sling the ball over the field because Herbert obviously can't. Harbaugh comes in and says, I know the best way to help Herbert out. How about we turn into a smash mouth team? How about we out physical our competition? And that's what Joe Alt brought to the table. And I think obviously not giving up any pressures, outstanding work by him. And great point to you, bring up PFF grades. If you look at Crosby's PFF grade, he had, a, like you said, he had an overall a solid game, but his PFF grade in terms of pass rush, mainly because of Joe Alt, 68.0. Last season, he graded out 84.3. The season before that, 83.5. The season before that, 91.9 in pass rush. So literally 20, 25 points below average. That's a huge delta there, strictly because of Joe Alt. And what we're seeing from the Chargers in this transition is this is a team that's moving away from finesse, a team that's moving away from, hey, we're going to play the soft cover to the two deep shells that Staley like to run. Hey, we're going to do the Kellen Moore offense. You know, we're going to try and throw the ball over the place. We're doing a lot of fun, fluky kind of stuff. We're transitioning to a new era of Harbaugh football, which is physical smash mouth, win the line of scrimmage, win the trenches. Are you going to have as many highlight plays? Probably not. But guess what? You're going to win more games.